Nagagawa ko ba naman may merienda na hindi masyadong nakikita or hindi masyadong common dito sa Metro Manila? Well, you've come to the right place kasi today... Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to the vlog of Beans and today we'll have another episode of Been There, Done That. Now, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button. It's been a long time, my gosh. And hit that like button as well. And to share this to your friends so they can know that we can order this empanada here in Metro Manila in Metro Manila. Now for today's video, we'll be featuring. Na makintay. We'll be featuring empanada di kaliskis. Nyan, I know that. Atagal ko nito na panood, nakita. Pero I haven't tried it yet, kasi kailangan pa natin dayuhin to sa malolos bulakan, kasi dun to nagoriginate. And don't you know that empanada di kaliskis? has been passed down from generations to generations to generations. And I think si Lola, Tita, Mercy, si Aling Mercy, <laughs> close, si Aling Mercy, um, she's the third generation na uh, nag, ano to, na humahawak or gumagawa ng empanada de Kaliskis. Um, they started two millennials ago. Two centuries ago, would you believe that? Well, over two hundred, two hundred years ago, and ah, yun yah, it has been passed down to generations to generations, and now si Aling Mercy, she's planning to pass it down to another generation who would handle the business, and um, ayun kay Aling Mercy, um, ayun. Natikman na rin ito ni Jose Rizal. Oh, di ba? Ganon katagal. Ganon na katagal yung Empanada de Kaliskis. And I'm pretty, pretty sure na um, if you would, um, kung tatagal kayo ng ganon katagal, I'm pretty sure na masarap yung produkto. And um, ito rin ay naging mga favorite, ito din ay naging favorite din ng mga past presidents natin. Like sina Quirino or saan I'm, I'm saying the right names. <laughs> si Joseph Estrada, ayan, um, naging favorite din nila itong Empanada de Kaliskis. Now, previously, um, you would only buy this kapag pumunta ka ng malolos. Da, as in, dadayuhin mo pa sa malolos bulahan. But now, they are now catering um, wider audience kasi they are now here in Manila. So, mas madali na siyang order. And I'm pretty sure that um, sometime in the near future, they would be available. Hopefully, they would be available all over the Philippines, and malay mo naman all over the world, di ba? So, how is it different from any other empanadas? As you can see, they are very flaky. Um, I don't know. Um, tinawag siya empanada di kaliskes kasi, as you can see, mukha siyang may kaliskes. Mukha nga siyang, ano, may malaking, ano, how do you call that? Chicharong bulaklak. And I'm really excited to try. Now, they have four different flavors. Of course, they have the original chicken uh, flavor. Then, Ngayon, meron na sila rin uh, beef curry flavor. And as well as they have new flavors ngayon, which are the pork sisig and cheesy tuna. Or balik na, baka pork sisig muna, bago yung beef curry. But uh, now, they have four flavors. Before, they only have the original flavor, which is... Um, don't you know how hard it is to talk when you have this delicious food in front of you? <laughs> so, ano yung sabi ko? Hello. Ayun. Um, now, if you would like to order this empanada de Kaliskes, all you have to do is to message them on their Facebook page, which is the original Mercy's Empanada de Kaliskes. Ayan. Link will be um, in the comment, uh, not in the comment box, in the description box below. So if you'd like to order from them, go ahead and message them. So I'm pretty sure that it would be worth it. Ako may kuna talaga. So, siya may electric fan pa na pagano. So, I'm going to put it all in. So, I all... Um... I have all the flavors. So, let's try. I guess I'll start, start with their original flavor, which is the chicken. So, as you can see... 
I hope you can hear this. Sa ano makuha ng camera? You know how crispy that is, how crunchy. Mm. Okay, disclaimer. Um, one of my favorite pastry is um, croissant. Croissant. And, uh, dinigma ko pa lang yung crust niya. Similar to that. Or, alam mo yung Akobina. Parang ganun yung lasa. Medyo sweet. And then, parang mas maninipis to. Parang ganun. So let's try the, the fillet. The filling. Yung filling. Basta yung nakaloob. Mm. It's a bit sweet. Uh, meron chicken and potatoes. Very simple yung lasa niya. But then very filling. Masarap to syempre kapag guru masarap siya pag mainit. And masarap din siya kapag feeling ko pag malamig. I mean, it doesn't matter. Pero I mean, yung crunch, listen. Ay, nalig di ba? Medyo fail. Sana ba nag-lagay ako, Mike? Mm. Pero really good. I can taste the, the chicken. Mm. Tapos yung crust niya, medyo sweet din. Mmm! This is good. Pero hindi siya nakakaumay. I feel like kaya kong umbos ng ilang piraso. Pero dahil, you know, I love chicken. Mm. Sarap? Sarap? Okay, now on to our next flavor, beef curry first. Now, um, if you know me personally, um, I'm not that I'm not that of a fan of curries. Well, I eat curries, but um, if I have other choices, I would rather you know, pick another dish instead of curry. Well, or let's see. Oops, see how that breaks apart because it's so flaky. Mm. Mm. Crust pa lang. Wala kang lasa ko na yung curry. Mm. Curry talaga. <laughs> Now let's try. Mm. You guys hear that? Of course, nandun yung curry flavor. Meron siyang, I think, beef and potatoes as well. You won't be disappointed with um, the curry flavor. Hindi siya tinipid kasi talagang lasang lasang yung curry. And it blends well with the beef. Nandun din yung medyo may konting spice. Spicy? Spicy at the end of yung ano siya. I hope you can hear the crunch. Ayun, mas spicy ito kasi dun sa chicken. Tapos, yun nga. Toplang flavorful ng curry niya. Lasang lasa. So, there are two flavors down. Two more to go. Maybe because we had two meats already. Let's go with the cheesy tuna. Mmm. So, let's see. Oh. I think it, ha it has tuna, carrot, and um, cheese. Sobrang flavorful ng tuna. Lasang-lasa yung pagkatuna niya. Very perfect for Lent. Well, I don't know when you're going to watch this, but I'm currently filming this during Lent season for Catholics out there. This is perfect for Lent. It's cheesy. Kasi may makapal na cheese on top. I don't know if you can see it, but There's cheese here. Tapos yung tuna. Tuna filling. Of course, lasang lasa yung cheese. Mmm. Kapal ng cheese. Kaya rin din yung cheesy tuna. So, of course, there's the cheese, there's the tuna. There's the two prominent flavors. You would taste prominent. 
very fishy. Totoo lang. For me, well, for me. Mm, though, it, the cheese balances out. Kasi, you know, yung pagka-fishy ng tuna, so when you put cheese on it, mm, that's really well. So, good. Well, for me, okay, later I'll wrap it. Pero, so far, lahat sobrang uh, masarap. Now, let's go to pork CC. Mm, sinful. Sinful. Okay. It's medyo nag- uh, ano na siya eh? Break apart. Break down. Break down. Okay, let's try. Mmm. You never go wrong with CC. But for the the CC, the pork CC, my potatoes. Um, you can definitely taste CC. This works. Um, itong uh, pork CC empanada. Yeah. Well, the mixture of pork CC and then there's um diced potatoes. Na pwede pa malit sa rice. Kailangan talaga ako sa may rice, hindi ko ako pag-sisig. Pero, sobrang okay siya. Um, Lasang-lasa yung sisig. And then, yung flaky crust. Mm. Mm. Yung gulo kasi, it complements because the crust is a bit sweet. Na-enhance yung saltiness nung, nung filling, yung sweetness ng crust. So, kapag sabay sila, it, um, it complements, it blends really well. And I take one or one. Mm. Gawa nga siguro siya talaga sa... I can feel the, ano, yung cartilage. The pork. Ano yung sa mascara. May crunch nung, nung cartilage. Tara. So, if I'm going to rank all four flavors. First, I really like, as in, super like yung, yung classic chicken empanada. Um, siguro the simplicity of it makes it really wonderful yung simplicity ng flavor niya because of, it's very simple the chicken and potatoes and the next one would be pork seasoning of course because yeah we'll never go wrong with seasoning <sighs> perfect kahit siguro sa inuman kahit na very flaky ito pwede nyo ipumpulutan itong empanada <laughs> and then um, next would be surprisingly my next one would be beef curry siguro dahil Medyo bias ako because I'm, I'm more on a meat person than, um, sorry, yeah, um, than seafood. Um, and then lastly, yung ano, tuna. But, but it's not bad. I mean, all of the flavors are really good. Um, so, it's just my preference. Pero, I'll, I'll eat all of them. Kasi, masarap naman talaga. Um, most especially paired with that very flaky crust. Mm, very perfect. So, if may ilagay sa mga French pastries na yung mga croissant, yung mga flaky, this one's perfect for you. Um, and kung hindi kayo mahilig, perfect din naman ito kasi basta masarap yung ano niya, the combination of the, the crust and the filling. Kaya ito, mahawa ka naman yung chicken. Nako, mukhang... Mm. I can't stop eating. So again, if you're interested in ordering, you can message them on their Facebook page the original Mercy's Empanada de Calisquez. Again, the link is in the description box below. So, make sure to so go ahead and message them and order. <clears throat> Ayan, um, go ahead, order, and I'm pretty sure that you will not regret it. Um, you, you will enjoy all flavors of their empanadas. And, you know, ang laki niya. See? See how big that is? Isang malaking chicharong bulak <laughs> Yeah, malalaki siya. So, sulit, sulit siya. And, uh, and, I'm sure, isang peraso pa lang, solve ka na. So, ayan, message them now, and, uh, go ahead and inquire, and, um, know their delivery options. And then, if you would like to pick it up, I think their, their store is in Pasig. So, again, kung hindi ka pa nakasubscribe dito sa channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button, and also the like button, and the bell button, please. Um, para updated ka whenever I have new uploads. Hopefully, um, you know, unti-unti makakapag-upload na ulit tayo because of our time and our work. Anyway, and also, share this to your friends sa mga foodie friends ninyo kasi, mm -hmm. 
Very beautiful that tong app. Uh, Empanada ticket is this. So that's it. Thank you everyone for watching. And I hope that you would be able to watch my future videos. And I'll see you again. So always remember to look up Aim High Trust God. And keep the faith. And I'll see you on my next vlog. Bye.